So let's talk about this morning's flash crash. What actually caused it, what the implications were, obviously where ADA price is and where things might head from here. I'm sure this is probably on everybody's mind. Now I will say while this was going on, I was actually filming videos and I, I quick tried to get capital onboarded, man. I was on the struggle bus and luckily I did end up managing to buy this dip. I bought several assets. It, guys, it was a pain in the ass though. Now, what actually caused this was there was an analyst from matrix port, not even sure what matrix port is to be honest with you, but what they said was that the sec will reject all Bitcoin spot ETFs in January, obviously major negative news. Like I said before, this run that we've been on, it's been heavily fueled by this news of spot Bitcoin ETF approvals coming in January, whether that was this week, whether that was around the eighth, ninth, 10th, that was the fuel for this pump. So am I surprised that there's a negative report that comes out that says it's not going to happen and we pull back? No, not at all. There are many people that decided to open up long positions during this time, right? On leverage that guess what? They got liquidated. That is what we saw this morning. Obviously major, major liquidations in the market, basically erasing all the gains that we had. Now, the interesting thing is that we actually broke down below. We got basically a fake out to the upside, fake out to the downside. And now we're back into this range that BTC had been trending in basically since the start of December. So we're actually okay there. Now, when it comes to ADA price, ADA, again, obviously fell into that 50 to 55 cent range, which is where I said I wanted ADA to be to end 2023 anyway. So I thought that was kind of interesting as well. 50 cents, it hit, it bounced. I think I ended up getting somewhere in like the 53 cent range. I saw it down around 51, 51.8 or something like that. And unfortunately, again, just, uh, just struggling to get my capital in. Now, what I thought was interesting here is that when we look back at this ADA BTC pairing that uh, I talked about in the video yesterday, we actually, interestingly enough, got the exact wick that we experienced last market cycle. We pulled down to this same exact range, about uh, about 1,200 sats, all right? I thought that was very, very interesting. And what all this leads me to believe, when I look at all this data together, it's it looks like manipulation, all right? We know that big money wants to get in cheaper. And we've seen it many times where they they do things like this to try to impact the crypto market and drop prices so they can buy in cheaper. That's really what this feels like. And it's the reason why I think we bounced as fast as we did. Now, that doesn't mean that this is over. This doesn't mean that you know we're out of the woods and there's no further corrections or anything like that. This could obviously be the start of, of a little bit bigger retracement to the downside. But again, I, I'm not holding my breath for that. I saw the opportunity, I took advantage of it. If it continues to drop further, great, I'm gonna buy. Now, I will say this, the several times that BTC has done this before that has gone through, um, it's gone through drops and corrections down, we've actually seen it spike out of here several times. This was actually the case several times in 2023. We obviously saw it happen back here in March. We saw it happen back here again in June. And there was one more time in this chart too that I'd have to dive in a little further to figure it out. But you guys get the point. BTC has done this before where it's where it's consolidated, it's been flat, and then it's gone through a sharp correction to the downside and then an explosion to the upside. There's no guarantees that this is going to happen. Again, we do need some semblance of good news. There's not a whole lot right now. Again, many much of this run was dependent on a spot Bitcoin ETF approval. But just imagine if we do end up getting some positive news in that regard. Now, what's kind of interesting as well is there's typically an inverse correlation with this D with the DXY right? And the DXY over the last few days has been actually climbing, which means the crypto market typically drops during that time. Once you hit uh, the bull market, that becomes less of the case, but, you know, kind of an interesting thing happening there. And then obviously we got to talk about the Jim Cramer inverse correlation as well. So Jim Cramer came on yesterday. I, I tweeted this out actually, and I was like, oh, great, here we go. Incoming drop. And what he said was, oh yeah, Bitcoin, you can't kill Bitcoin. It's here to stay. And then Lo and behold, over the last 24 hours, we go on a, a correction. You know, there's a lot of things that are happening right now. But again, I always look at this dips, retracements as opportunity. I look at the long-term possibilities and long-term benefits. Do I believe that ADA price in the broader crypto market, you know, uh, about two years from now is going to be higher than where it's at currently? Yes. Yes, I do. I think there are major steps that are going to be made during this, this bull market and alt season and post having and all these things, right. In terms of adoption and utility. And th there's, there's big steps that are coming. All right. 
this is kind of the early steps. This is early bull market cycle. We're going to experience volatility. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. And that's just what we're experiencing today is one of those downs. So we'll obviously see what happens as this week plays out. We'll see if we do get some news about these spot Bitcoin ETFs or if maybe we end up getting something else. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Let me know your thoughts, but have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.